Hey guys, today, let's do that again. Or let's just not ever do that again. <laughs> today, we're gonna be reviewing, let me just Google this out for a second. Uh, we're gonna be reviewing Fuji Color Superior Extra 400 color film. This has 36 exposures, and what makes this video extra interesting, hopefully, is uh, that it's expired. By how long? I am not sure. Um, so I guess it's expired maybe 2010, I, I, I'm not sure, but it's definitely expired, but not like super expired. I was using this point and shoot Pentax SBO 90. Look at that. It has a Pentax zoom lens, 38mm to 90mm. Let's just get a good, good close up right there. I'm a big fan of point and shoots. It's really nice. It, we'll do a, we'll, you know what? We'll do a whole other review on this camera at another time. Don't be greedy. So, uh, yeah, let's see how it turned out. So, okay, let's talk first about the the colors. There's green, red, and white. No, um, this is one of the more, as you'll see as we go on. This is more, this is one of the more high contrasty photos in real life. The reds are a lot brighter. And the greens are also a lot more, uh, a lighter shade of green, a more luminous shade of green. The color is definitely not true to life, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. Uh, this is more the color palette of the entire film. Quite cool coloring as opposed to warm. I like that one little tree silhouette um, at the very far left. Again, very cool. I didn't do any uh, color correcting, nothing. I just scanned them and bada boom bada bing i like this kind of juxtaposition between the between the the timber gate post and the electric telephone wire in the back uh, but yeah a little underexposed again pretty washed out you know it's a uh, <laughs> expired film what do you expect and it wasn't kept in the fridge or anything it's a good wall isn't it it's, it's a well built wall this as you can see there's some like marks on the negative a hair there I think that's a scratch on the negative. This is an abandoned house across the road from my home where I grew up. Again, abandoned house. I had to actually stand in a very specific place to not be seen in the reflection of the uh, window panes. There seems to be a very cool tint on all the photos. I like taking landscapes in portrait mode um, and I like the I don't know, there's like a sense of movement, almost like the hills are like waves. Yeah, a lot of different textures going on. And here is my dog. You know him. You love him. Ambition Sparky Sausage Belly the first. He actually stood just long enough for me to take this photo and then he ran away. This is a mailbox, we call it a post box, that has, you know, endured one too many Irish storms and uh, but it's still doing its job. This is one that I was excited about while taking it because the red was really really red and vibrant the red of that i don't know what it is blank it's not a blanket work workman's tarp maybe it's a tarp yeah but here you can see it's uh, not very vibrant at all again this was a very luminous bright yellow um and here it looks very faded that is the theme of this video uh this is the road that i used to um get on the bus to go to school. I would walk very slowly slowly down this road hoping that the bus wouldn't see me and it would like pass by and I wouldn't have to go to school. These um, in real life that green watering can is very very green very luminous green and the other one is gray. This is a chicken. In actual fact the chicken is a lot more orange than red. Here she's looking a bit red. Unlike my dog, she did not want to stand still and pose for me. This is a little, I don't know, a little entrance into like a secret world, I think. I just like to capture the real like messy wilderness of the countryside um, and the different textures and trees, you know? Just love, I just love trees. And back to the city. Cranes are like um, trees for me in the city. And then there's the the shadow, the lighting, light meeting dark on the buildings. I almost say that this is my favorite shot out of the, the whole role. If you've watched my last video, this is Noodle Girl. 
Um, you may not recognize her because she's not eating noodles. And also, her hair is up. Uh, just like my dog. <laughs> she stood long, still long enough for me to take a photo and then went on walking. Um, and here we are, back in the countryside. This is the statue of Our Lady that is in the, like, porch of my of my parents' house. Wow, I've really given you guys too much detail about my parents' home. <laughs> Luckily, it's, like, in the middle of nowhere and, like, delivery men can't even find it, so. This picture doesn't do the statue justice. I mean, these blues here just look like white, but in actual fact, they're very vibrant, very vibrant blue, a baby blue, and then a, a darker blue as well. So, yeah, let's look at some of the, um, the rejects that didn't make it in. We got... This one, which would be really great if it wasn't uh, blurry as flip. And this is a a hunky-dory packet. The famous spikes that I always take a photo of. Uh, this is them in color, in case you're wondering, because you've only seen them in black and white. I think I'm standing at the exact same spot that I took the, the black and white photo in. And here we have my dog, a close-up, uh, looking very unphotogenic and terrifying in the eye department. So yeah, I actually have like another two rolls of this film, of this expired film. And I also have some Afka film, color film that's like way more expired from like the 90s. So that'll be pretty interesting to try out. Uh, I'm definitely gonna shoot the rest of the, the expired films that I have of this brand and this year. And just kind of be aware of that like, yeah, things are gonna come out like this.